Hello, this reading is for those who just recently broke up or had a fallout with your partner. I'll do three spreads. The situation spread, who you're dealing with, who left who, etc. The advice spread, is it worth your time to reconcile with this ex? And the new love in the near future spread. Do you have anybody new coming towards you, hopefully better suited for you than your ex? Please like my videos if they resonate and subscribe to my channel. Let's begin. Hi Aquarius, here's the situation. We've got the Ten of Cups, the Hierophant, the Five of Swords and the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Taurus. So everything was lovey-dovey. You were in a committed and fulfilling relationship, right? And then you guys had a fight and that caused the breakup or some sort of a major fallout. Or because of this fight, one of you decided to walk away. That's what the Five of Swords is all about. It's either about a fight or somebody just, you know, dropping their swords and walking away. Um, scenario number two. Uh, after the breakup, after someone walked away from this relationship, you got into a new relationship. A very happy, very committed uh, for emotionally fulfilling relationship because all these cards are really good besides the five of swords the ten of cups is a card is the card of a very happy emotional um, relationship even marriage the hierophant is all about traditional committed relationships right and the ace of cups on the bottom of the deck it doesn't get any better than the ace of cups when it comes to love offers so take it as resonates uh, like I said, these positive cards could could have been about the uh, relationship you were in, which ended. Or <laughs> you got into a fight, broke up, and then got into a new amazing relationship. Let's see what the advice is for you, Aquarius. We've got the Three of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and Ten of Swords. Wow. Well, this is more like it. Um, and I'm sorry to say that, I'm just a messenger, guys. So this does look like the uh, situation. Or this could be um, a warning for you. If you were to go back to that person, this is what would happen. The Three of Swords is the heartbreak. The Seven of Swords is the card of a cheater, a card of a deception, a card of a liar. The Ten of Wands is a card of a really heavy burden, and uh, yeah, I can see how this can be a burden. And the Ten of Swords is uh, an abrupt ending. So see, all these cards tell pretty much the same story. Somebody cheated or did something that they weren't supposed to do, that broke your heart, made you very, uh, you know, sad about it, it gave you a burden, and the relationship ended right or this is what would happen if you were to reconcile with this person well let's do the, the third spread let's see what happens next well yeah let's see if there is anybody better suited for you than your ex um, hopefully coming towards you this month Aquarius we've got the hangman the nine of swords the page of cups and the nine of cups on the bottom of the deck well, I don't really see any brand new offers. Uh, the Page of Cups is usually an apology or something so small that you probably won't even notice it, especially uh, considering the state of mind you're in. Right now we've got the Hangman and the Nine of Swords. You're very stuck, most likely in your own head, and it's keeping you up at night. You're very, um, you're just going through it, basically, right? So I think the Page of Cups could be an apology from that person, but that's not going to do much for you. Or this is just someone to calm you down, to comfort you. You know, could be uh, that they want to take you out and uh, buy you a drink or so. Um, but eventually you'll be able to get out of this uh, slump. The Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment, so eventually, I don't know if this will be in May, but... Uh, I do see love on the horizon for you. So hang in there, bad people, you know, come across all the time, they teach us lessons, and, but it doesn't mean we have to uh, suffer for too long. You'll be able to get out of it pretty soon. 
And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.